All right, so good morning. Um, we're out on the river, me, Jeff, Trey. Um, I think it's gonna be a pretty solid morning. We got uh, some high muddy water conditions, but it, the river's on a steady fall. And um, you know, there, there are definitely some pre-spawn fat smallmouth bass right now. And we're looking to hopefully get our hands on a couple real big ones today. 100% tell you right now that I know I'm gonna get in trouble um, because I pieced out before Jeff was able to do an intro and I'm sure he's up there right now borderline furious with me because he was probably waiting for me to come out and do an intro with him but I'm coming to hit this spot first and then we'll go do an intro That's a big fish. Look at that. Oh man. That's a good fish right there. You know, this is this is honestly what Penn's Creek is really kind of known for in the springtime. Penn's Creek is known for big, big brutes like that. They come in here and spawn. Um, everybody knows it. You come in here and fish them. And you know, you can almost guarantee that you're gonna catch at least one or two good fish. We're gonna get a measurement on him. Big old 20 inch Susquehanna smallmouth right there. This was actually the first TFO rod that I ever bought. Oh really? Yeah. That's a good one too. Yes, yes it is. Hit, hey, hit over in there. Not bad, probably 17, 18 inch fish. Sorry for the road noise, um, but real pretty eyes. Look at her eyes. Hold on, open your mouth, girl. Look at those red eyes.
absolutely choked that chatterbait. Probably about 17, 16, 17. Good fish though. Second 20 inch fish today. <laughs> Big old fat one. Right up in the roof of the mouth. Had her hook. I have to get a measurement on her. Just to see. She's nineteen. Nineteen inches. So a nineteen, a twenty, an eighteen, seventeen. All we need now is 21. They're at. They're really hard to beat. I mean, I've felt, you know, every bite that I've gotten, it, it, it wasn't like, you know, they just loaded. Oh, right there. See? Right like that. That fish hammered that thing. Oh, that's a good fish, too. Hold on on the rod. So, you know, as I was saying, sensitivity-wise, they're really good. <laughs> um, you know, they load up really good. That's a good fish. Um, man, I got to get a measurement on that one, see how big that one actually is. I'm going to guess it's 19 plus. Um, it looks like... A little bigger than that last one, and that last one was, was 19 on the dot, so, but that's probably in another video that you all, I would encourage you to watch. Yep, 19 and a quarter. So, you know, these rods. All right, so we've been fishing a while and I haven't really talked a whole lot. Um, you know, I, I gotta get better at that, but I wanna talk about what we're doing and, and, and why we're doing it, where we're doing it. Um, so these are pre-spawn smallmouth in a river system. And, you know, these fish come up into these major creek systems to spawn most often. We just had a high water event, so a lot there's a lot of fish in the creek to begin with, but you know the water temperature is getting really close to being right for them to, to be up here spawning so that's why we are doing what we're doing today uh, targeting you know the, the fish that are coming up in here to spawn and we're a pretty good ways up um, into the creek today like we came a good ways away from the main river before we actually started getting bit consistently so you know, we're targeting these fish with moving baits because they are willing to eat them. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> quick release. That one was small anyway, so not a big deal. Um, but yeah, they are, they, they're hitting moving baits, which is, you know, always fun to, to catch them that way. And, you know, they're your typical angry pre-spawn fish. And that's why we are where we're at, where and you know, we're where is up into a creek and 
you know, what we're doing is we're targeting them with moving bait because that's, the, you know, they're, they're feeding up, getting ready for the, for the rigors of the spawn, so. got lipstick on look at that he got lipstick see that mm. yes I just kissed that fish no shame That's big. Hey. I don't know yet. Big hole. Fat. Fat. I like I'm choking. Chill. Oh, come on now. She is not interested in this whole getting measured thing. Can you relax? Another 19. Another 19 inch fish. Can you get my picture, Bob? Can you get my picture? Right up in behind that wood, dude. She, I mean, absolutely just slammed it. This watercolor doesn't need anything else. Honestly, I have no idea how I landed that fish given the... Huh? No, my line. My line was real bad frayed. Alright, so we are all finished up for the day, except for Jeff. Jeff, he has a a score to settle with one fish that did him wrong today. Um, we had a really good day. Uh, it started off super slow. We went out in the main river and uh, it just, it, it wasn't clicking out there. Um, and you know, I, I kind of thought that it wouldn't be. Um, the creek this time of year, my opinion, definitely a more productive spot so um around one o'clock whenever a tray left we uh adjusted came up into the creek and we went way up into the creek and i ended up with somewhere close to 96 inches of fish um, jeff was sitting in the very high 80s and you know just an all-around really good day and i mean they were absolutely hammering uh jackhammer but you know, you had to really get it in tight to the wood. Um, you know, so I was skipping a uh, half ounce jackhammer. I was skipping it basically up into every lay down that I came to. 
and the the most productive pattern that I that I figured out was anytime there was a tree with roots that were in the water there was normally a fish on it um, you know I would either get bit or you know I, I would catch and that was pretty consistent so um, but yeah I needed today today was <laughs> today was needed after the last two tournaments I've had oh, good lord yeah definitely needed today so but thanks for watching uh, there's gonna be some more videos coming up here real soon um, I think I'm going largemouth fishing tomorrow so we should have some content from that and then I have later on at the end of this month well actually about next week I think I'm gonna be down at innovative sportsman shop with Trey and we're gonna rig out my iTrek 11 with with some extra niceties and while we're there we'll also do a a, a better overview of his boat um, the Osprey 1436 so um, you know that's the oh and I forgot Delaware paddle sports kayak bass fishing series it's a mouthful um, they have an event on Silver Lake April 23rd and Silver Lake was pretty cool uh, I fished that last year man there's some some big fish in there so um, looking forward to that one that one should be a good time so you know put that on your calendars if you if you're if you're local and you want to fish it so yeah thanks for watching with me and please i'm like 80 some some 80 some subscribers away from getting monetized it's not a lot uh it's not you know it's not going to be a lot until maybe i get super big which probably will never happen but um you know if you don't subscribe and you watch and you watch religiously please hit that subscribe button Please just smash that bad boy that way I can, you know, get get over that threshold because as soon as you get over a thousand, it seems like they, you know, the algorithm, the YouTube al algorithm, you know, starts putting your videos out to more people when you're over a thousand subscribers. So, um, it'll help me grow. So I, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe and, um, you know, of course, like and comment. I try to interact with everybody as much as I possibly can. So, but thanks for watching.